Request to the Minister for Environment for an extension of time, item 20. Is there any introductory comment from staff on this paper? Um, yes, since we put in the report, I've contacted all the submitters on this plan change and checked that they're okay with us extending the time. Um, of the nine submitters, I had answers all in support from seven of them and two didn't respond um, despite checking it despite several emails. Um, I've also talked to the MFE and got guidance um, that suggests that we need to bulk up the letter that was put in the appendix. And we are, we just want you to know that we haven't put this on ice. We're working as hard as possible to get this done as quickly as possible. And we do have consultants working on it at the moment to get our technical information um, up, to, up to where we need it. Great, thank you. Yanni, you've got a question. Thanks. Um, w would this take into account um, shipping container yards where we've seen massive amounts of shipping containers being stacked adjacent to highways, railways? I can talk to him. Yeah, OK, thanks. Um, so this rule is in the operative plan and is subject to a plan change. It relates to... Um, Activities that are more sensitive to noise, so resi residential, education, health facilities that uh, occupants um, are at risk of um, being in a, in a receiving environment that's noisier than the wider surrounds, and the scope doesn't extend to shipping containers. It's it's limited to the activities I've described and requires installation of the, of the buildings that those uses occur in to... Um, Manage, Sorry, so, manage the effects on health and safety, but also avoid complaints. So just so I'm clear, so people that are there first will p potentially be required to do certain things because of activities that have established. So the the rule only, like every uh, like a lot of things in the district plan, the rules are forward looking. So right. it applies to new development alterations and additions to build ex um, existing buildings, but not retrospectively to existing buildings. Do, do you have like a planning map of the areas that are impacted? Uh, it applies to the district plan. Is it? Uh, the district plan uh, we can we can share maps, but it applies to state highways, all major arterial roads, all major all collector roads. So, um, how, how so? What I'm trying to kind of understand is like if you have a state highway, how far is the setback? That it's would be 100 covered? meters at the moment. It's 80 meters, and we want to extend it to 100. Right. It is already there. There are already rules for noise sensitive activities. We're just changing them slightly to make them easier to use. So, in, a, in effect, um, the any building proposed within that buffer, I'll call it, is subject to the rule. Right. And is there anything going on for the types of activities that are being allowed to establish? You know, um, in terms of these these corridors adjacent to residential. Uh, or yeah. sensitive activities? Like, is anything looking at the people that are creating the nuisance being, you know, having controls or...? Uh, so this rule only relates to noise from vehicles and trains. Oh, OK. Uh, not from other sources of noise, right. which are managed through other rules in the plan. OK. That but, yeah. issue will likely... It has been raised by submitters, so it will likely be uh, discussed at the hearing. Um, right. But so this is just seeking the extension of time. Yes. So there are a number of matters that are substantive to the decision itself, um, but this paper is about the extension of time. So I'd, I'd rather keep the questions just to the extension of time matter if we can. Sure. I guess I was just interested to in understanding it around our strategy and district plan work program because obviously we, we haven't met the timing um, and... You know, I just don't have any sense of what the plan changes are that we're working on, um, what resources are required. I mean, I know we've raised ones like trees, for example. So the question um, is, does this um, extension of time impact on other work that we're doing? And if so, how? Yeah. Or do we need to put greater level of resource into our program to achieve the program? Yep. On that, uh, we're proposing a memo as prepared and circulated to elected members setting out what our current program of work is and what the future program is, um, where we can also supplement that with a briefing. Um, the pr 
one of the reasons for this plan change being delayed and the extension sought is um, in light of the government's direction around intensification. We have had to focus our resources on that and implementation of, of that direction, which will come to you in the fullness of time before August to notify. Um, there's also been other priorities which have, um, and in addition to that, um, there's been impacts on our capacity to deliver the work, so we've had to prioritise matters of reflecting uh, what our statutory requirements are. Mm -hmm. this, um, this plan change is still going to be advanced as quickly as we can, and um, potentially within the two years, so it may be that this extension isn't, um, even if granted, would not be utilised, but um, we will uh, continue work on this, recognising it's been through a formal process of submissions and really the next step is a, he a hearing, so it's um, already late in the process. Sorry, just one, sorry, one final question from me. Um, was, I mean, I don't know how many people have seen the research that's come out around air, um, air quality from roads and impact on people's um, quality of life and well-being. And so I, I noticed when you answered one of the questions, you said some of the submitters have raised a certain concern around um, the types of activities, I presume, you know, like like who takes responsibility for the, the implications of what's happening. But are we able just to get a sense of the scope? Like I know because you're in a hearing process, but um, yeah, I guess I was just interested in getting a bit more of an understanding about where the scope might extend to and what opportunities may exist to Not address air quality. It's simply sound. It's right. noise. Yeah, but I think one of the answers to the questions, you said some of the submitters had raised the point around requirements on... Dealing with the people who are producing yeah. the noise, yeah. being the people who then um, yeah. deal with it rather than putting it onto homeowners. Yeah, yes, exactly. There was, there was one submission on that. Right. Okay. Thank you. Any further questions? All right, I'm happy to move this. Is there a seconder? Sam will second. Is there any discussion? All those in favour say aye. Aye. Against, aye. as carried. All right, now um, we're at 10 to 1.